Hi everyone, I'm Ant from MiniPro, and today we're going to go over all the different type of power adapter cables and couplers that we offer for the most popular cameras and devices out on the market today. If you've ever seen us at a trade show or an event, you'd be very familiar with this cable board as it's the easiest and best way to see all the different type of products we could make. Some connectors and couplers are made for specific cameras, whereas other ones are made for a variety of products. Let's get started from the top. This first one right here is the right angle two pin type connector for RED Komodo cinema cameras, specifically for RED's digital cinema Komodo 6K. Second, we have the straight angle four pin IEMO type connector for RED's Scarlet and Epic cameras. For this third one is another straight angle four pin IEMO type connector for Canon C200 and C300 cameras. Next is the four pin female XLR connector used to power multiple products and we make these cables with Nutrix. A very popular cable that we make, and me personally I find I use this very often, is the two pin connector for Blackmagic cameras, Blackmagic 4K, 6K, 6K Pro, and the 6K G2. Next, we have the right angle USB Type-C connector used to power GoPro's 5, 6, 7, and 8 cameras and other USB Type-C power devices. This one over here is the four-way D-tap splitter, and I find myself using this in many situations as it's very handy. You can use it to power four different type of devices simultaneously. So I'm gonna kind of breeze through these next few a little bit. Right here is the connector for the Convergent Design Odyssey monitor, the 2.1 and the 2.5 locking right angle connector used to power lights, monitors, and other accessories. This one right here is the Bauer connector for Sony FS5, FS7, and Panasonic's AU EVA1 cameras. This cable is also compatible with other devices. The right angle micro USB cable is used to power Tilta's Nucleus Nano, older GoPros, and other devices that accept micro USB. Before I go any further, I would just like to quickly mention of how well made these cables are. We do everything in-house, and we make customizable cables specifically for your needs. Contact us via one of our social medias, or send us an email. All the details will be located down below. Anyway, let's move on. You have the Sony MPF L-Series type dummy battery, Sony's MPF W50. This one's for Sony's Alpha NEX 3, 5, 6, and 7 series cameras. Sony's MPF-Z100 dummy batteries. For example, you can use this one with Sony's Alpha A92, A9, A7R4, A7R3, A7 III, and A6600 cameras. Sony's V-Series dummy batteries are made for Sony's Handycams. Sony's MP-BX1 are made for Sony's Cybershot and Action Camcorders. A very popular battery type is Canon's LP-E6 battery. This one is very universal for an array of Canon cameras. Finally, moving on to the last row of dummy batteries, you have Panasonic's BMW BLF19 dummy battery that's used for Panasonic's Luminex series. Panasonic's VWVBD58 is used for Panasonic's AGCX350 and other similar devices. You have Fujifilm's MPW235 dedicated for the Fujifilm's X-T4 mirrorless camera. Fujifilm's MPW12365 for select X-Series and fine picks cameras. Second to last, we have Nikon's EN-EL15 type dummy battery that's used to power Nikon's D7500, D500, D610, D750, D780, D850, Z6, and Z7 digital cameras. And lastly, we have Canon's LPE-17. And this is used to power many different Rebel cameras, such as the T7i. Also, EOS 77D, M5, M6 Mark II, and RP digital cameras. Now, there's differences between some of these cables. Some come regulated, some are not regulated. Some are available in coiled cable, like this four-way D-tap splitter. It starts out with 24 inches and goes up to 36. And also, this 4-pin XLR cable to D-tap is non-coiled. Now, if you would like any customized cable with any one of these connectors, we can do just that. Contact us and we can ship it right out to you. Our final row is just an example of some input connectors we have. We have the standard D-tap, the safe tap, the tri-tap with USB D-tap on the sides, 
the 4-pin male XLR, 2.1 millimeter connector, and the 2.5 millimeter connector. Thank you for watching this video. Again, I'm Anthony, Ant, Tony, whatever you want to call me. And please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll be sure to get back to you. See you guys soon.